on in this vlog. I plan to make my 2023 mood board. It's something that I did two years ago in preparation for 2021, but didn't really get a chance to do last year. And I found that it really helped me just kind of like subliminally manifest a lot of good things in my life. And I thought it would be fun to do it with you guys so that if you wanted to make one as well, I could do like a little tutorial on how I do it and you could follow along. Good morning everyone. I'm here with my desk set up because I wanted to take you guys through how I make my little like I guess mood board, manifestation board, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put manifestation in heavy quotations because I think anyone who believes that you can just wish something into existence without a lot of dedication and hard work, I think that's a little bit kind of wishful thinking. <laughs> it's also not very inclusive to people with circumstances out of their control. But anyways, Today we will be manifesting for 2023. As you guys probably learned in my last video, 2022 was a pretty hard year for me. And overall, the years of 2021 and 2022 were all about rest and like recovery, really learning to be patient with myself and taking my time with any goals that I did want to set for the future. However, I'm hoping for 2023 to have a bit of a different energy. Now that I've, you know, had surgery, I'm on the road to recovery. I have a lot of goals that I really just want to go for, you know what I mean? Fitness goals, personal life goals, just all the goals, I'm ready to go for them full force. So the last mood board that I did, which you'll actually see is the background of my computer right now. I'll like put it up right here so you can see it. Like I said, it has a lot of self-care energy, calming vibes, but you'll see that is not exactly my goal <laughs> for today's uh, mood board. So I'm gonna kind of take you through in like a tutorial way so that you can make it with me if you would like. So feel free to open up a new tab on your computer. If you have Google Drive, that's what I use. You can also use PowerPoint, whatever you like to use to make uh, presentations. I've got my spearmint tea here ready for consumption. So good. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I should also say I feel like my life also just like looks very different than it did the past two years so my mood board is also going to reflect that. You'll see I have a lot of like nature and hiking vibes in my 2021 mood board but now I'm in the city and I have to be happy in the city and I am happy in the city but basically I want to reflect my current living environment in here as much as possible so I'm going to do that as well. Okay so here you can see in the top right corner I have my folder of all the images I'm going to use. Right off the bat I'll let you know I got them all from Pinterest. I am a Pinterest girly. I love scrolling on there <laughs> during the empty spaces of time during my day. Some people scroll on Instagram. I scroll on Pinterest. So my five folders are New York City, quotes, gym stuff, now that I'm once again lifting weights. Woo, very exciting. Food, because now I have some very specific diet, I don't wanna say restrictions, but like I have very specific things in my diet that I now have to emphasize with this new diagnosis that I have of PCOS. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'll talk about it in a future video. So food as a category, and then there's also decor for my apartment. I have a couple of things in the downstairs, like living room area, a couple areas that are still left unfinished. My room is basically done, as you can tell, but yeah, so those those are my five categories. So let me go ahead into my drive. Here we go. I already created the file 2023 mood board. Beautiful. So I wonder what category we should start with first. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. And as you can see, I had my mood board as my like computer background just so I see it every day, you know, keeps me motivated. But you can, you know, print yours out on cardstock or poster board and hang it up like physically in your room. FedEx or Kinko's probably does that. So it's really whatever you prefer. Let's start with NYC because it's first. Let's just go through some of the photos that I have here. Okay, very nice, very aesthetic. Mm, very Brooklyn vibes. I do live in Brooklyn, so that might be good to include. I really like this one. It's like colorful and moody. And this one as well. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one because as a taxi cab and I actually have a few friends who live around here. So I walk past this little ivy building quite often. That feels nice to include. Okay, 
Here we go. I can include a Brooklyn doorstep. This also has like warm vibes that I love. So I guess I'll just kind of add them on either end of the poster so that they can kind of sandwich everything in. Let me see if there's one more image I wanna add. Maybe one of Midtown since that's where I work. Whether I like it or not, that's where I spend a lot of my time. I'm just gonna put it like right there for now. Maybe not worry about exact placement. Let me just make sure there's no other ones I wanna include. Mm, a skyline could be good. Okay, I'll put a skyline in there just in case we wanna keep it. All right, so there's our New York City inspo. It's not really inspo, cause it's my reality, um, <laughs> for better or for worse. But let's see, what category do we wanna do next? Maybe gym? For gym inspiration lately, I've been focusing a lot on strengthening rather than shrinking, you know, that kind of vibe. So I have lots of pictures of weights here. I have a girl squatting. Again, these are all taken from Pinterest. Beautiful little image of a mountain, which is not <laughs> real to the gyms in New York, but that's okay. Back workout, bicep, goals, Bulgarian split squat situation, and Pilates. Love Pilates. I really like this one. This one feels like I can really insert myself into the image. You know, it's not explicitly a photo of someone else. Okay, what else do we want to add? I love this back inspo. I want to be a muscle mommy. <laughs> Any other gym photos I want to include? Maybe a squat. Squats are good. Squats are a very important compound movement. I feel like I should include this one maybe because it's pretty, but it's also like I don't really do that many things on the treadmill and the imagery in front isn't really realistic. So I don't want to put things in my head that... <laughs> It's like if I put that on my mood board, I'm just gonna be dreaming of a place that I can be so that's a little unfortunate All right, so three gym photos that feels solid. Let's see what's next. Maybe food I think food is the best category as you might probably be able to guess <laughs> So basically for PCOS the most important things are like healthy fats high protein and lots and lots of fiber. Those are the things that you're supposed to emphasize. So here I have like a delicious mushroom lentil dish. Here we have some tofu and asparagus, some overnight oats with berries and nut butter, blackened salmon over, I think that's black rice, some cucumber and you know, classic mushroom spinach scramble for the morning time. Here we have some delicious raspberry chia pudding. Oh my God, I'm literally getting hungry just looking at these photos. Salmon kale avocado salad, breakfast bowl, with brown rice, egg, spinach, salmon, and mushrooms, and then like a white bean skillet with a poached egg on top, as well as a yogurt bowl with matcha chia, which actually sounds really good. I might have to make some food after this video because I'm woo, hungry. So let's see, what meals are we feeling in the mood board? I think this blackened miso salmon is really beautiful. Brings in some green, vibrant vibes. Let's see what else, maybe a breakfast dish. I love this little chia pudding situation. Already I'm noticing that my mood board this year has a lot more like darker vibes than last year, which I think is just a product of <laughs> the New York City inspo picks that I, that I chose, but that's okay. <laughs> Just trying a different angle here because the other one felt like it was a little bit in my face. Do we want one more food picture? Maybe the lentils? I do love lentils. Maybe right there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, <laughs> next category. Let's see, decor. We don't really have much room. I usually do quotes last because they're smaller and easier to fit in or overlay on top of photos. Wow, this lighting is super bad. It's also because the light just keeps shifting in my room. Like the sun will come and go. This might have to do for now. <laughs> okay, decor. So lately in my new place, I've really been obsessed with organization and labeling things. I'll do a little like kitchen pantry tour soon. Maybe, should I do a whole apartment? tour comment down below if you guys want to see an apartment tour really love these vibes here i might add some color to my bedroom lately it's been feeling a little too whitewashed which is like not always the vibe in fact it's rarely the vibe make some room for that here that's beautiful and then i've been trying to figure out what art to put above the piano so maybe some piano inspo now that i've been playing more i have one in my apartment now which is really exciting these need to be staggered a little bit they're a bit too level some of these images might have to be shrunk shrink shrunk let me know what the right way to say that is <laughs> It's a little small, but it's as good as it's gonna get, I think. I love this pantry inspo. It might motivate me to keep things organized. 
How are we feeling about this, guys? It's a little all over the place, but I promise it'll all look very intentional at the end. Okay, I think it's quote time. I have a lot of quote selections because I wanted to include some from the Baha'i writings, which is like, as most of you know, my religion. But then I also wanted, you know, some like general, like cringy girl boss stuff in there as well. So let's see, this one says, be proud of yourself for how hard you're trying. I think I really need this one. I sometimes, most of the time, do not give myself enough credit for how hard I try in the different areas of my life. So I'm just gonna do like a little baby one in the middle. In fact, I just had therapy this morning, like right before I started filming and this is literally something we were talking about. So it's very topical. What else is there? Stop worrying how it's going to happen and start believing it will. I don't know. That one feels a little extra to me. Don't try to be perfect. Just try to be better than you were yesterday. That one's really important. That's lovely. And you know, when you make this yourself, like there's gonna be a lot of awkward edges and to a certain degree, you just you just gotta roll with it because this isn't a perfect science. It's basically just collaging on your computer. So I would try to embrace the imperfections. <laughs> we cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. Uh, falls a little flat for me. God hath never burdened any soul beyond its power. I like that one. I often have to remind myself that I am capable and that I can do so many things that maybe originally I would have never thought possible. Let's put that one right there. There's no like horizontal ones. Like I really could use a horizontal quote right now. It's a bad day, not a bad life. Also very relevant thing that I have to remind myself. Keep going because you did not come this far just to come this far. I like that one. Girl, do it for you. Yes, okay. There's a small little nice one that can fit easily in a corner somewhere. Okay, we're getting so close guys. I think I'm gonna do this one. The It's a bad day, not a bad life. Just to remind myself, you know. You are much stronger than you think. I like that one. And it can fit perfectly in this little corner. We kind of just have this little patch right here. So let's see what we want to fit into there. And then sometimes like they'll overlap weird. What I just do is what you've been seeing me do. I just right click, go to order and hit send backwards. Or no, is it send to back? Yep, yeah, it's, no, ah, sorry. I'm trying to bring this one forward. Okay, bring to front. Perfect, perfect. Yes, okay. One more quote. To pray is to trust in God and to be submissive to him in all things. It's a little niche, but I kind of like it. Let's do this one. Let's see if it fits. Kind of fits right here perfectly, but I might need to move some things around. I have a final step where I kind of give it all the same filter so it can all blend together and I think it'll look good. So let's go ahead and export this. Download as a JPEG. Huh, that's pretty bad quality. What did I do? Did I just screenshot it? Yeah, I think I just screenshotted it. So let me do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna text it to myself. Let's move to my phone to do the final edits. First, we have to make sure it's the correct dimensions. So let me just take that down to 1619, which is the size of a computer screen. And then I'm just gonna use the app that I've been using for my Instagram photos, which is called Teza. This is not sponsored. I literally just have the free version, but I like one of their filters, which I use religiously. It just kind of like brings the exposure down and all that stuff, and it's called Coco. So you see how much better that looks like? Look, without it, with it. Without it, with it, it just kind of like brings all the colors together in a really cohesive way. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so we'll save that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and airdrop it again to myself. And now I can just right click, set desktop picture. There it is. That's so exciting, wow. <laughs> it is definitely a different vibe, but like I said, I'm not mad at it. 
For me, there's something always really empowering about putting a visual to any goal that I have. Not because I think it's gonna magically like change my life overnight, but because I think our brains are very suggestible and if you're seeing a certain image every day, whether it's positive or negative, it's gonna affect your subliminal thoughts and it's gonna affect the way that you go about creating your habits and the way that you conduct yourself in your everyday life. And so it's like if I have power over what I open my computer to every day, you know, before before I open my tab for work or whatever it is that I have to do online. It kind of just gives me an opportunity to refocus. In the past, it's just really helped me stay on track. So that's why I make mood boards. Please go ahead and comment down below if you like made one with me. It could definitely be a really fun activity to do with friends. Also feel free to comment down below some goals that you have for the new year, regardless of what they may have to do with. They don't have to be physical health goals. They could be mental health goals. They could be goals with your professional life, your personal life. I just wanna know what's up and what you're looking forward to in the new year. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not yet. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one. Oh my gosh. Still getting used to that. <laughs> Bye.